What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Did y'all have a good week? Did you have a good day? Today is Friday. And the week rounded out very well for me. I'm excited. I learned so much. I actually functioned a lot more um, proficiently and I was more effective than I thought I would be. So it's like, you know, repetition is your friend. You know, I was in the call center, well, they call it the command center all day. And we had calls coming in, pretty much the same kind of calls and, you know, a lot going on. And I mean, it was just, it was awesome to be in the trenches as I've stated before. So what was your lesson today? My lesson was to don't take for granted um, if you find yourself in a busy environment. Don't take for granted that you know everybody around you is busy and assume that nobody's paying attention. And I say that because it has been extremely busy all week. And today, I got a kudos from my director. As it turns out, my coworkers and our customers and our clinicians have been really, you know, saying good things about me. And I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that I was able to help and I'm glad that, you know, I actually paid attention to, um, you know the things that I was learning and I actually took the time to ask questions because those things that I learned is what allowed me to you know to do a good job and um, it's not about me being puffed up and it's not about me uh, you know being full of myself or anything like that but I'm, I'm genuinely happy and I'm pleased that you know it was rec that I was recognized and it was noted that I was doing a good job because you know that is always a concern of mine and since this project just launched on Tuesday and everything was so new you know you can obviously see why I would be concerned about doing a good job because this was a new opportunity you know for me and so um, as far as my other my other duties that I was you know training for the reports and things it's funny how things kind of fall in line some of the reports um, they're just second nature I, I I've done them enough where they look they're starting to look familiar to me and I'm not so nervous about you know sending the email and you know I'm <laughs> You just you know when you're learning new things it's hard because you just you want to do well you want to you don't want to do bad work you know and so that is really the base of my uh, anxiety you know when I was kind of stressing over you know learning this job and everything and I know I'm saying you know a lot but I'm thinking so um, that was kind of the base of my anxiety is I was just really you know wanting to do a good job and everything so anyway so far so good everybody thinks that I'm doing a good job and um, you know any mistakes or errors that have been made um, have been primarily made due to um, the fact that you know I need to be I, I either need to be educated in in that area trained you know or I wasn't given enough information to know what it is specifically that you know needs to happen so in those cases it wasn't like really an error it was um you know it might have been something simple as filtering i wouldn't have known to take like certain things out of the report or leave certain things in a report because that information initially wasn't provided to me so you know it, it didn't break the bank or it didn't you know cause a meteor to fall from the sky because the information was left in or it was taken out you know it's just these are desired fields for them to you know to really be able to look at the information 
So other than that, I mean, everything went well. So I'm wondering, you know, today is Friday. Um, we don't really have a, uh, a routine per se, but, um, you know, we, at one point, my husband and I, you know, every week we were going on date night and we kind of got away from that. Not because we didn't enjoy going on date night. We just, you know, life happens and you get busy and distracted and, oh, we'll go next time. And then next time comes around and then something else comes up. So, um, but we didn't really have a routine per se. And so I'm just wondering what everybody is, you know, like, what do you do on Fridays? You know, what is there something that you do? It's like that's your typical Friday. You know, do you go out to the movies? You go out dancing? You just kick it at the house? You know, what do you do? What do you do to entertain yourself? You know, after a long week of working, and if you're an individual that works the weekends, you know, when what days do you have off? And what do you do to kind of decompress and unwind and things like that? So I'm curious to know. So if you don't mind, if you could leave that information, you know, in the comment box and just kind of let me know what you got going on. Um, I did upload my Beyond Burger recipe video last night. Um, I thought I was going to do a voiceover, but I opted not to do that because Scandal was on. And uh, <laughs> I, I missed quite a bit because I was back and forth from the living room to my office trying to you know get the video uh set up and everything and i just decided to go ahead and just play music behind it and just do some written instructions like you know different parts of the video and um i made sure i put like the pictures up of what you know the dish looked like and what i opted what i opted what i chose to do what i chose to prepare was um enchiladas and i had to go back because i was you know i'm it's a mexican dish and I, I was telling somebody not too long ago that, you know, I know what enchiladas are. I've never cooked them, and I cannot even recall if I've ever tasted them. So, the fact that I put the A where the I was supposed to go, enchiladas instead of enchiladas, I guess is how, I don't know. <laughs> I had to go back and edit and pull the video down and all that stuff to correct it. And I may have missed, because I mentioned the word enchilada a couple different places in the video. So I may have missed it. So I'm just going, this is my disclaimer now. You may see enchilada misspelled in there. Don't be too hard on me. It's all good. You knew what I was trying to say. So <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, I did it with the Beyond Burger. So what I decided to do was, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go to the store. Not right now, but just go to the store. And I'm going to actually look at the full line of the Beyond um, Meat Company. You know, their full line to see what it is that, um, that they offer. I do know they do the crumbles. I also know that they do like the beef strips. I want to say they do chicken strips. Um, but I'm not really sure what else they do. Um, before I head to the store, I'm probably going to pull up their company website and take a look at, at what they have. And I am actually going to incorporate um, some of the other Beyond uh, Meat uh, ingredients in the videos now to kind of expand it uh, because I just want to kind of make it a little bit more interesting. So as I always say, you know, if you have some suggestions for me for recipes and everything, whether it's the Beyond Burger uh, meat, the Beyond Burger patties, or any other Beyond Meat products, please leave a comment in the just in the box below to let me know what your suggestions are, so that I can do the necessary testing. And I don't usually test my recipes, but uh, I think I'm gonna start uh, not really full blown testing, but at least trying to get some idea of you know, how these products pair with um, like different sauces and stuff like that. Because what I do know is that some of the meat replacements break down a little differently than others, even if it's supposed to be the same type of product. So say for example, it's the crumbles. Not all the crumbles hold up to um, a certain type of sauces. So if you wanna use them in a chili, I have known, and I can't tell you what the brand is. I use the brand of uh, crumbles and the crumbles almost uh, dissolved. So it was just a weird thing because the crumbles, is a, they're supposed to mimic ground, 
like the ground beef when you brown it like for spaghetti sauce or tacos or something like that so for them to break down in the um in the dish that i was cooking it was just kind of unexpected and uh it was just weird so um like i said before i can't remember what brand it is and uh, I try to make sure that I only buy the Beyond brand, uh, the Boca, yeah, the Boca brand, or the uh, Morningstar brand for the crumbles because I don't want to risk buying those crumbles again and then they turn to mush, you know, in my sauce or whatever. So that is one of, when I say testing, I'm not testing recipes. I'm just actually testing the um, the consistency of the product, and I'm testing uh, to see how these ingredients uh, hold up under various cooking conditions, and how how do they hold on to the seasonings and stuff like that. So those are the type of things that I'm looking for. I believe the Beyond Meat Company products should do you know pretty well um, because um, I like the uh, the way that the Beyond Burger. Uh, you know how it how it uh, holds up when I fix it when I prepare use it to prepare different dishes. So anyway, if you have uh, some suggestions, um, it, it does not have to be a particular uh, type of food like you know Mexican, Italian, soul food or whatever. It could be any any dish uh, from any you know country or whatever. Uh, I'm open to anything. I love to cook, and um, I really don't always have the energy, you know, to, to get in the kitchen and cook, which has been, you know, a challenge for me. But this is also helping me to uh, incorporate protein into my diet because I'm back to experimenting with different uh, dishes and stuff like that. And the Beyond Burger has quite a bit of protein in it, and I would imagine, I don't know for a fact, but I would imagine the other Beyond Meat uh, ingredients and products have... Um, quite a bit of protein in it so anyway that's going to do it for me for right now uh if i have anything else i'll be more than happy to come back uh, but in the meantime love yourself love somebody else until next time take care bye